everyone, welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. I'm your host, Kayla Hewitari, and today we are going to begin the second day of investigation for Case 5. Let's get going with it, shall we? February 9th, 3.43 a.m. Hottie Clinic Intensive Care Unit. I'm still up at this hour, reading through the trial record of a certain case. <clears throat> it's the first case my mentor, Mia, had ever handled in a court of law. The horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its cages. Dahlia Hawthorne. What I have read, I don't want to believe. What is written here? This wasn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling into the Eagle River, I was somehow miraculously safe. But I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the world and back. I feel dizzy. My ears are ringing, my throat burns, and my head is on fire. But I will recover. I have to recover by this afternoon. <clears throat> I have to meet with the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. But I know that he will be able to help me somehow. I know that Edgeworth will help me. February 9th, 2.43 p.m. Dusky Bridge. Right. Are you sure you're well enough to be doing this? You still look a little green in the face. I may be Viridian in order to speak. Actually, my fever has gone down quite a bit. How's your temperature now, pal? Only 102.2 degrees. Nothing to worry about. <coughs> anyway, I read today's trial record. You're bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive, despite the circumstances. I'm not in the clear yet. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the Shishito did not deliver the deadly blow. Which means there must be another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. Another sword, huh? Don't you worry about anything, pal! I'll dig up the murder weapon myself, or I'll eat my coat! My name's not Detective Dick Gumshoe! Thanks again, Edgeworth. I'll handle things from here. <laughs> this is probably for the best. I was thinking about paying the old precinct a little visit. There's something I want to look into. And that is... A client's background. Naturally. You mean Irish, sir? I have the feeling that we've met before. All I want is confirmation, one way or the other. I probably won't be getting that from you. I'm sorry, Edgeworth. I bid you do right. Take care. Guess I should get moving, too. Why? Do you need to be somewhere? Yeah, I've got to get to work on this bridge, pal. I'm rigging something up so we can get across to the other side. Ah, that's right, Maya! She's so stuck over at the sh inner temple. Trying over there. Oh, please be okay, Maya. But don't worry, pal. As soon as it's all set, you'll be the first to know. So, thank you, Gumshoe. <laughs> no problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? Alright, I'm off. Gumshoe is on the case! Hang in there, Maya. 
we'll get you out, I promise. But in the meantime, I've got to continue collecting evidence. So let's move away from the bridge and get started. Um, let's start with the courtyard. <clears throat> How's the Kura Temple main gate? Come on, please! It's for art's sake, I swear! There's only one guy I know who could be this persistent and high strung. I'm talking about the heroine here! The heroine of my book! It'll make you famous! Ah! Enough! The fool's fool, the fool's 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 who foolishly accepts the foolishness of a fool's fool! Wouldn't you agree, Phoenix Wright? Uh, wait a second. Uh, uh, I know you. Ow! Oh! Your reflexes are... And mine need to shape up. My brain's frying like a sunny side up. And you want to grill me over and... Me? Uh, Franzi, you can't do that! Even as we speak, it makes up the brink of death, or so I'm told. Whip a dead horse. Isn't that one of your American sayings? No, it's not. I'm not on the brink of anything. Come on, Nick. Tame her, would you? Or tell her, would you? She must model for my picture book. Franzi's whiplash splash. Simple and magnificent! Ah! Before you ask me to model, learn to give it at least a semi coherent testimony. And before that, you'll have to learn how to live a semi coherent life, Larry. I don't care what anyone says. I'm telling the truth. I saw what I saw. She flew. I'm telling you, whoosh! Just like that, dude. With the red underwear. Don't think I'm gonna forgive you guys when you come crawling back to apologize. <sighs> Off he goes again. Phoenix Wright, it's been a year since uh, we last met. A pleasure to see you again. A uh, pleasure too, I suppose. As for Larry's book, it's quite funny. Um, actually, it has a little tie into the new games, if you guys want to check that out. Larry's still around in Fringe, just because the book seems to do okay. <laughs> Have you been in Germany all this time? That's right. Extending my perfect wind record naturally. Oh joy. Sounds like she hasn't changed a bit. Has it really been a year since we last met? First met? Adventures of Ankama, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Francisca was born and raised in Germany. And became a prosecutor at the age of 13. Her father was the legendary prosecutor Manfred von Karma. He had a perfect win record for 40 long years, but now he is gone from this world. Don't tell me you still hold a grudge against me because of what happened to your father. Phoenix Wright. You will fall before me, this I promise. But it will be for my sake, not my father's. Are we clear? Yes, Crystal. <clears throat> in, in truth, I was shocked. I came back to America with the intention of defeating you. Instead, it was my little brother who was leading the defense. Edgeworth. Come to think of it, <clears throat> Edgeworth was 
pulled into being a prosecutor by Manfred von Karma as well, and raised by him. Nazajwif told me something very interesting, you know. He said this case has a special significance to you. Because it does. <clears throat> That's precisely why I'm here. Your personal involvement will make crushing you into teeny weeny pieces all the better. It's probably the fever, but... She's so openly hostile that it's almost kind of cute. Ow! No smoking! No whipping the sick! Such foolish fool doing such a foolish... A favor for such a foolish foolish fool! Edge... Edgeworth... Make no mistake, Phoenix Wright. I came here for one thing, and one thing only. To... Pulverize you! It's not like I thought you were here to bring me some cold killer X, you know. I should expect nothing less from Francesca. I went over the whole case file on the flight over. You read the whole thing? Yes, every last word of every last sentence of every last paragraph. All the ridiculous things you did made. It's a very interesting read, you know. Attempting to cross a burning bridge? Did you even consider the danger? No. The only thought in my mind was I have to get across. To save Maya. A fool who doesn't think is more foolish than a fool who foolishly thinks. Come to said he'd let me know once the bridge was repaired. Maya. She's gotta be okay. I just know it. Plus, I need to ask her about what really happened at the Inner Temple that night. <clears throat> Francisca's still here, so... Maybe there's something I need to ask her more about? Um, about... Ah! I used to help you, Phoenix, right? I should have known better than to try. Maybe she won't be much help right now. <clears throat> I'll come back later. Main hall. Talk to your bikini if she's here. Uh, 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 that was one long sigh. Um, sister bikini? My, my, my! I didn't know you were here! How are you doing? <laughs> um, you don't have to pretend to be in a good mood for my sake. I... I suppose I've made a terrible mess of things, haven't I? I let Mr. Elise die, and then there's Iris as well. Mystic Elise? Now that I think about it, hmm... Acolyte stuck at the inner temple. And that poor little girl has gone missing too. That little girl. Y you don't mean pearls, do you? Yes, I'm afraid I do. She hasn't been seen since the morning after the incident. Pearls, she's missing? Why didn't someone tell me about this earlier? That's not going to worry me. They're not pearls too. Sass about her about Iris. Maybe she can give us some information. I must be getting old. I just think I've seriously lost faith in myself. Are you talking about your performance at the trial today? You believe me, don't you? I'm not a liar. I would never lie. I know what I saw. I saw Iris pull that sword from Mystic Elise's body that night. I'm certain of it. At least I was until this morning. I don't see any Cyclops, so she must be telling the truth. Um, so why are you so unsure of yourself all of a sudden? You know that artist who testified after me? I 
saw her was flying, her white hood fluttering. I felt like I might start flying myself. When I saw that man testify so fervently about something so impossible, I started to wonder if I had acted just like him when I was on the witness stand. I wouldn't take that guy too seriously. He is an artist, but all he draws is trouble, and nothing else. <coughs> if both Bikini and Larry are telling the truth, that can only mean one thing. They both didn't see what they think they saw. Or maybe they're being completely honest and there's another explanation for this. <laughs> the incident, you met Iris at the Inner Temple, is that correct? That's right. I'm sure it was Iris. But Iris claims she was in her room at Hazakura Temple. I knew I shouldn't have come back here that night. But because you did, Maya stuck at the Inner Temple. Uh, I'm so sorry. The drafts in that place are nothing to shake a stick at. Winter is especially bad. I'll bet the training hall looks like it's about to fall down any second. Eagle Mountain has always been prone to earthquakes, just so you know. Earthquakes? Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if the next big one levels the training hall. We've got to get Maya out of there fast. But still, there's really no need to worry. That area on the other side of Dusky Bridge is isolated like an island. It's like an island? How so? Well, the only thing on that side of the bridge is the Inner Temple. No one lives out there, and it's surrounded on all sides by the river or the forest. I, I see. So a criminal would be trapped should they choose to flee in that direction. And as long as the bridge is out of commission, he or she will have to stay there. <clears throat> that means Maya could be stuck out there with a murderer and no way to escape either. Oh dear, yes I suppose it does. Uh, please Gumshoe, get that bridge up faster. curious about a few things, if you don't mind, answering some questions. Oh, do you need to know my measurements for your investigation or something? No, 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 nothing like that. I want to know a little more about the victim, Miss Elise Donin. I'm afraid I don't know her waist size, or her bust size for that matter. No, no, I'm wondering why she came to stay in a place like this to begin with. <coughs> I mean, she told us herself that she wasn't here for spiritual training. My, my, my! You make it sound like this place is some sort of dump, Mr. Wright. Mystic Elise was here to soak up the natural beauty of Eagle Mountain, if you must know. There, you did it again, Sister Bikini. I notice you always refer to Miss Donim as Mystic Elise. Oh? Yes. Now why is that? After all, she's not here as an acolyte. We address all our visitors as mystic. It makes their experience feel authentic. And anyway, she's older than me. You must respect your elders, you know. <clears throat> How do you know that? How can you say for sure that she's older than you? Cyclops! lots of them. Hmm. It seems Miss Elise Donim was no ordinary visitor after all. And there's pearls. She was with Miss Donim on the evening of the murder. And now she's vanished. It's all got to be connected somehow. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, new topic. Pearl. 
<clears throat> Why did Pearl have to get mixed up in this mess? Please, Mr. Wright. I know you're worried, but try to keep it together. Oh, man. My head's throbbing so bad, it's killing me. Pearl's... She was with Miss Donim on the night of the murder. Remember? Yes, but... I have a temple to run, you know. I was busy preparing for the training. I didn't see the little darling even once after we'd finished eating dinner. The murder it didn't take place right in front of her innocent eyes, did it? <clears throat> According to the detective, she hasn't turned up at her home either. Come on. Keep calm. There's one place left where pearls could be. She just has to be there. Come shoe. I'm counting on you to trick it out for me, please. Hurry the repairs up. Alright, move on to the courtyard. Her sister Bikini witnessed the incident. It's hard to imagine that she was lying on, on the stand, so maybe there are some clues that have yet to be found. Something else was supposed to happen here. Maybe I'm not ready for it yet. Let's go look for pearls. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> hey! What, what was... That drawing in... Considerately loud yell! So this is where you've been keeping nice and warm, I see. Detective, have you... Uh, the bridge? Yeah, I did. I told you I'd let you know. <clears throat> well, well, well. Then I'll come along with you and... Sorry, ma'am. No one authorized entry. Access is restricted to people involved in the case. What was that? I'm involved, aren't I? You couldn't get much more involved than me. Well, yeah, but that's not... Uh, uh. It's been a while, Scruffy. You're... Uh-oh. Uh, uh, Karma! Ah! Run away! Hide! Sister, please leave the investigation to me. My, my, my! Well, you certainly seem to have everything under control. I'm on your side. I won't do anything you won't want me to. As you work to pin the guilt on Iris. What are you damn dreaming about, Phoenix Wright? Ow! That hurts! Silence! I, Francisco Von Kama, will personally guide you through your investigation. So you will follow me. She's not seriously going to follow me around, is she? Um, I guess she will. <clears throat> well, we're going to look for pearls. Hall. Looks 
Obviously, no one's here. Larry! Larry's? I'm sure he'd be hiding here. Guess I'll try again later. Okay. Guess no one's there right now. Well, let's go to the temple. <coughs> Enter temple gate. Things have certainly become a lot livelier than before. This it must have commenced with the investigation. Oh, Mr. Nick! Th that voice. Pearls! You're all right. Mr. Nick! Mr. Nick! <laughs> so you were here? Ever since that night? I was so lonely, I thought I was going to die. When I woke up in the morning and saw the dusky bridge was gone, I, I realized I was all alone. <coughs> she was all alone? Maya. It must have been very trying for you, little girl. Uh, you're... I'm Francisca Von Kama, the prodigy. There's no need to worry now that I'm here. You're the prosecutor who was so mean to Mystic Maya last year. Well, I I don't like you. You're nothing but a little girl without your whip. <clears throat> what did you just say? Mr. Maya didn't do anything wrong, but you are so mean, I'll never forgive you. I... I... Looks like Pearls' words are getting under her skin. Ow! Why are you ripping me? I didn't even say anything. You don't have to. There's a smile on your lips gave you away. Anyway, Pearls. Weren't you with Maya? Uh? I'm sorry. It's, it's all my fault. Uh, what are you talking about, Pearls? I... I... Ah, Mystic Maya! Hey, wait, Pearls. She's just ran off. Ow! Such was cool, Phoenix, right? To make a little girl cry like that is inexcusable. What was that all about? Pearls acting like that, it's giving me the creeps. I guess I'd better take another look around since I finally got a chance. Especially since something about this place seems different from two days ago. <clears throat> Alright, examine! Um... What am I looking for? I don't remember what I'm looking for. You can see Dusky Bridge from here. It's an unusually long bridge, isn't it? I would say it's about 20 yards. I guess the gorge is too wide to cross with a piece of rope or wire, huh? Therefore, no one has crossed the gorge in either direction since the night of the murder. It's simply a sound deduction, wouldn't you say, Phoenix, right? Um, yeah, I guess so. There's a little gate that leads into the garden. It says no entry on the sign, though. Come now, Phoenix Wright. What are you doing? Let's go in. It's half open anyway. What Tom would come of it? But it says no entry. Don't you Americans enjoy doing whatever you like and then simply say whatever? That's got nothing to do with anything. 
And who told you that? Okay, can I go in there now? Um, no I can't. Hmm. I can go into the training hall though. <clears throat> Might as well try it and get these scenes out of the way. What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? Maya, she was supposed to be in here training. Yet it appears she's nowhere to be seen. <clears throat> What's that? That strange lock. It wasn't there two days ago. This whole room is really giving off some strange vibes. There's two things I want to examine in here. First off, being that lock. Hmm, the store. <clears throat> when I was here two days ago, that weird lock wasn't on it. As those chains, it's almost as if they're guarding something inside that cavern. I've never seen a lock quite like this before. I have. I've seen locks and chains just like this before. They look just like the ones that guard a person's secrets during a psych lock. I wonder if this lock is guarding something too. Dark secrets in a dark cavern. And... Where is the scroll? <clears throat> what do you think this yellowish poster is, Phoenix Wright? It's a scroll, not a poster. It's a picture of a woman who's actually... Huh? A woman? I don't see any woman here. There's a different atmosphere in this room since the first time I was here. No. It's not a different atmosphere. It's a different smell. It's gravy. What's the matter? The scroll. It's been completely covered in gravy. Ah, uh, yes. There is a very appetizing smell in Zia. But the gravy is a type of sauce. So when you went out of paint, you Americans use gravy as a substitute, I see. No, no one does that. For starters, it stinks. This must be the gravy that we had with the roast on the night of the murder incident. But why would anyone do this? Why this scroll? Hanging scroll updated. Touch to see before and after views under the check screen. What took you so long? I thought even you'd manage to get here. What took you so long? I thought even you'd manage to get here faster than this, Mr. Trent. <clears throat> Sorry, I forgot that was Goto. I wasn't expecting to do his voice. <laughs> P Prosecutor Goto, I didn't know you were here. Prosecutor? How come you didn't show up at the trial today? Huh. I could ask you the exact same question. Huh? But I was... I had a cold, so... There's something slightly more important than a common cold to deal with. The importance of which is something you have no hope of ever understanding. Enough. I believe I gave this... I have the measure of you. You are the very worst kind of prosecutor. What could be more important than a trial? Who's the wild mare trait? This is Miss Von Karma. She was the acting prosecutor in your absence today. Huh. Well, I guess I owe you one then. But you can go now, princess. It's time for the big boys to take the reins. Just who do you think you are? This case is m my. Hey, Philly. No, you're wrong. And shut your mouth. I can't stand women like you. I'm only going to say this once. Lady Von Wickenberg. 
Kravlix is the whip than that, right? W what? You still don't get it, do you? You don't realize that you've set something in motion that you'll never be able to undo. There's something different about Godo today. I'm getting such a strong sense of something from behind that mask of his. Is it anger? Or... Is it sorrow? <sighs> such a good case. And he's such a good character. <sighs> Getting down to the wire there, guys. <clears throat> why? You had some important business. And that's why you weren't in court, huh? So what was it? I told you once before. But perhaps you don't remember. I've returned from the depths of hell. Did you battle as you? You see, trait. I've experienced something most have not. Death. You died? Of course, being extradited from hell is a tedious affair. meticulous regeneration and adjustment of all your internal organs is. Well, let's just say, modern medicine allows us all to live to a ripe old age. Even someone like me. So, you mean, the mask you wear is... This ugly device. I promise it's not a fashion statement. My unenlightened friend. Without this, I can't see your frequently dumbfounded face. I... I didn't know. My eyesight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. <clears throat> I know that feeling, Goto. Still, I keep this worn-out old piece of junk of a body going with regular service. I'm sorry, but... You say you experienced death. How is that possible? What happened? Why don't you ask him? Huh? M me Yeah, trite. Right. You. You should know all about it. You know when my life ended, and you ended it for me. W well, Phoenix right? do you? I I don't know what he's talking about. Although, to be honest, I do feel a little tug at the corner of my memory. I think I do know about how Goto was killed. <clears throat> it will become clear in due time. Isn't that right, Trite? Uh, I guess so, but can you please stop calling me Trite? <clears throat> Really, you said I've done something I can never undo. What did you mean by that, exactly? <clears throat> the inner temple here on the side of Dusky Bridge is an isolated island. Also, this is a bikini, said too. And I wonder, Trite, do you know what the police are doing here today? What do you mean? They're searching. Searching for any trace of an acolyte who went missing. M missing As leader of the search party, I can tell you this was absolute certainty. My fae is not on the side of Dusty Bridge. Huh? But, but that's impossible! She came here that night and... I won't say it again. The chances of her being here are no. Including, of course, one very unique place. One... where is that? The sacred cavern, the youngins of which we are standing at right now. This is the only place that the search party has yet to explore. It's 
So they haven't searched that cavern yet, huh? Be aware, though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freezing. Even if she wasn't there, the chances of her being found alive is slim at best. But no! Which means trick. That you sent Maya Faye to her death. You fool! If that's the situation, why are you in there with the search party right now? You must have blinders on, my equestrian angel. Don't you see the big lock and chains? It's a trick lock. Making preparations to open it as we speak. Well, try it. Once again, Omen dies because of you. Once again? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've forgotten. It was only two years ago, after all. When the last unfortunate woman died because of you. Because of me? And do you know who that was? It was Maya Fey's sister. That's right. Mia Fey. M Mia? You killed her. No, that's not how it was. Mia, how, how would you know about Mia? It was two years ago. Mia Faye was pursuing someone, a man. But she bit off more than she could chew. She made a very dangerous enemy. Yeah, that's one case I'll never forget. But I got that guy, personally. Sure, Miss Faye's murder was fucked. But that won't bring her back. W well, no, but... You were with her at the time. You were no one else. It was your responsibility. You should have protected her. I... You say Mia Fey was your teacher. Well then, I'd say you've learned nothing, Tret. You robbed her of her life, and now... You've let her sister suffer the same fate. I... I haven't sentenced Maya to death. No! Not Maya. No! What is this peculiar looking lock? If I don't we just break it open, it would be a simple matter of... I'm afraid we can't do that. This area has always been prone to earthquakes. The repeated tremors have weakened. The foundations of the training hall. Any excessive force used to break the lock open would, well, let's just say, the inner temple in the sacred cavern would be a sin of the past. Very well, then do I suggest the obvious solution of opening it with the key? Huh. Sure, just show me where the keyhole is on this trick lock. Th there's no keyhole. That's right. An interesting puzzle, huh? The person who set this lock is the only one who can open it. Then who was it? Simple. The accused. What? Uh, Iris? When an acolyte undergoes training inside the sacred cat, the attending sister is responsible for locking the entrance. Obviously, the night of the murder was no exception. My fate was to train him there. Sister Bikini did mention it a number of times now, when I think about it. She said that Ira was left in Iris was left in charge of supervising the early stages of the training. So Iris, the accused, is the only one who could open the lock. person who can open this lock. I hope she gets here soon. Hang on in there, Maya. We'll get you out. So, I should be getting back to work. Wait, Goto. How sure about Maya are you? There's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in my mind. 
She's in the sacred cavern somewhere. It's the only place she could be. You'd better start praying. You better pray that friend of yours brings the accused back here soon. Edgeworth. Listen up, Trite. There's only one thing I want to say to you before I go. I'll never accept you. Never. Intense. Man. Oh, Kodo. You should choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix Wright. That's what everyone says. Though I don't recall saying he was my friend. It looks like I don't have much of a choice. I guess I'll just have to do what I can for now. Time to move on. Can we go in there yet? No. But I do think I need to examine something here. What is the question? Hmm. Um, let's try the big thingy there. <clears throat> There's a weird smell coming from that incinerator. The door is also open. Almost like it's paying me to look inside. Well, well, let's see what stunning clue is concealed in here, shall we? Huh? It's empty. How naive of you, Phoenix Wright. But it's a bit strange, don't you think, Francisco von Karma? I seem to remember... note on this incinerator the first time I saw it. In other words, someone's been using it to burn something at recently. Listen, Phoenix Wright. It's independent to call people by th it's impertinent to call people by their full name. I was only copying you. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? It sounds like someone's talking to himself. But where's that coming from? Ah, it's Gumshoe. Yeah, I guess I better wash that off. That's what I'll do. No, but I can't do that. I'm a detective. Ugh, my brain. This is driving me nuts. Ugh. Is something troubling you, Scuffy? But please don't whip me like that all of a sudden, sir. It was merely a simple greeting. A friendly tap on the shoulder with my whip, of course. So what's up, Gumshoe? Is something on your mind? Uh, uh, how did you know that, pal? Perhaps you were trying to decide if you wanted to wash that off or not. How did you know, sir? Oh, yeah, I nearly forgot. You can't go through that little gate there, okay? Um, you mean the one that says no entry on it? I, uh, um, kind of already snuck in there. Is he trying to be clever or something? See what's behind this, Scuffy? A kind of garden-like garden. A garden? What's wrong with going inside a garden? Yeah, anyway, it's under investigation right now, so keep out. I'm not telling you. I'm asking you, pal. You got me? Isn't it normally the other way around? Well, see you later. So, shall we adjourn to the garden, Phoenix Wright? Of course. What else would we do? I'm not just gonna listen to him. I really want to know what gum she was thinking of washing off. Yay, we can move to the garden now. 
was wondering when I'd be able to do that. February 9th, Inner Temple Garden. There's a strange feeling in the air. I wonder what it is. Strange feeling? Forget about that. What's that strange writing on this stone lantern? Ah! What are you doing here, sir? I thought I told you not that you can't come in here. Don't you know, Scruffy? A one comma has will always show up wherever there is a clue. And there are plenty of clues to be found here. But Sorry, Gumshoe. We wanted to follow you. Now, will you tell us about the area? So, how's the Inner Temple investigation going? We have the best scientific forensic team in the world working in this, this place, pal. Forensic team? And what was the outcome of this scientific study? Nothing. Scientifically speaking, the place is as clean as a whistle. That's simply not good enough, Scruffy. Do you think I'll let you get away with that? Uh oh. Well, there were a couple of things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. That stone lantern in the surrounding area. It's not covered in snow, correct? They look kind of fishy to me. You know, scientifically speaking. So I got the lab boys to look them over. The results were... It's kind of hard to say, actually. I guess I'd better look into them myself. I don't like where this is going. Um... About Maya. Oh, um, did Mr. Goto tell you, sir? Her pal? Yes, we heard. He's got a search party out looking for her. But there's nowhere else she could have disappeared to on this side of Dusky Bridge. All we can do is wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get her, pal. Edgeworth? He's escorting Iris, the defendant over here. Have to wait, since she's the only one who can open the door to the sacred cavern. Oh, I think Mr. Edward wants to talk to you about something too, pal. Huh? I wonder what it is. Just don't be expecting any good news when you talk to him. When I spoke to him, Mr. Edward sounded so uh, down. I feel like I was drowning. Sounds pleasant. We're going to start investigating in just a moment. Alrighty, um, let's see what we have here to work with. Oh, well, there's this. This lantern. What the heck is that? Uh-oh, you spotted it, huh, pal? Are you kidding me? It couldn't be more obvious. It says, it says, Maya. Yeah, and before you ask, it's written in blood. You will answer all our questions now, Scruffy, without exception. Y yes, sir. I'll ask for more details in a moment from him. Let's check out this area around it. Oh, this is odd. There's no snow on the ground here. It's an almost perfect rectangle. It couldn't have happened naturally. <coughs> because it appears though someone has carefully cleared away the snow. No doubt it was you, Scruff. Hey, hey, no, it wasn't me, sir. It was already like that when my men and I got here to start the investigation. If it wasn't the police, then who did it? Oh, yeah. There's something I need to tell you. Just between the three of us, okay? What is it? It's 
top secret. You can't tell anyone, got it? Understood. Well, when I was a kid, I got knocked out of the local wrestling contest, you see. I was so disappointed, I just picked up my mouth guard and cried all the way home. Man, I got in so much trouble when I left it on the couch. Is that it? That's it. Ah! Whoever cleared the snow must have had a reason. Although I can't even begin to imagine what that reason could be. Don't want to talk to Scruffy. Oh, I did get a new topic. Yay! Maya, these letters are written in blood? Yeah. What's worse is, it's the victim's blood. Huh? This is Miss Doneen's blood? We haven't done a detailed analysis yet, but it's looking that way, pal. Hmm, most interesting. Phoenix Wright, I presume you know, don't you? Why Maya's name is written upside down. You know what? That was really bothering me, too. I just came up with the answer. The result of my own special gumshoe investigation. Really, do tell, Scruffy. Well, on the night of the murder, the stone lantern was upside down. Um, anyway, there's really only one logical explanation to this ma mystery. Miss Elise Donim wrote these letters herself in her own blood. Y y you must be joking. That's impossible. From the writing of the victim's blood and the other clues left behind, it seems pretty likely that this garden was the scene of Miss Elise Donim's murder. At least that's her current theory on how the events took place, pal. What? No, that, that can't be. So Miss Donim was here? However you want to look at it, that's what people are saying now. And then, what Sister Bikini saw in the courtyard at the main temple was... Well, what was it? If that wasn't the scene of the crime, what did she see? What do you think, Miss Vaughn? Ah! Surely a special gumshoe investigation would reveal the answer, no? But wait a sec. The, but wait a sec. The bloody writing and all the other clues here. Someone could have easily set all that up after the incident taking place, right? Sorry, but that's not an option, pal. Why not? How quickly you forget, Phoenix Wright. Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible. Because Dusky Bridge was completely burned up. I was never seeing repairs to the bridge the whole time. No one came over here before me and my men. Which means no one could have planted all this stuff here, pal. Uh, I, I can't think of a counter-argument to that. I, I knew it. I should have washed the blood off well, Andrew, as soon as I got here. If this really was the scene of the crime, then I need to figure out exactly what it was a bikini actually saw. Alright then. Let's do this maybe. Yes, that's what I was looking for. That's what I missed. There's a charm or something. 
poking out from the snow. It looks pretty old. There's his leather cord tied to it, though. Apparently it belonged to the victim. To Miss Elise Dunim? Yeah. There was a broken leather cord around the lady's neck. The ends of the cords found on both the victim and on this charm match exactly. This means that this charm definitely belongs to Miss Donian. This could be a really vital piece of evidence. to the record. Now we can go see Bikini. Walk all the way back. There we go. Now the game's doing what it's supposed to. Visitor, Mr. Wright, Iris, I'm really glad to see you. Go to manage to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him. We've got to hurry and unlock this sacred cavern. Sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault someone so important to you is plucked in there. Mr. Edgeworth, can we finish our conversation later? Alright. Let's go to the inner temple then. I'll see you later, Bright. Wait, Edgeworth. I'm coming with you guys. Sorry, Bright. I can't allow you to come with us. What? I hate to be the one to break this to you, but my affair is in a rather delicate position. What do you mean by a delicate position? This isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. Come on, Edgeworth! happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, Wright. Mr. Wright? All that matters is that Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? I... Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off limits. We'll be going now. Excuse us. Time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. Aren't there other things that demand your attention? She's right. Thanks for reminding me. Let's get going to see Bikini. Sister Bikini. Looks like she's shrunk some since the last saw her. Don't be so rude, Phoenix Wright. What's wrong, Sister Bikini? My, my, my! Hello, you two! How are you doing? <laughs> uh, uh. From the sound of that sigh, I guess she's still pretty down. Iris was just here. You know, she was accompanied by that hit. Excuse me. I'll let that out. <clears throat> Iris was just here, you know. 
She was accompanied by that handsome crimson-clad prince. Is she talking about Edgeworth? It was just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear, it's all my fault. This has happened. Poor Iris. She was worried about my back, would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And we'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. Well, I don't hear anyone else saying that. Mr. Blue Suits doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Help me ah Glaring daggers at me. Oh no. Uh, oh yes, uh you did great, Sister Bikini. Uh, absolutely spectacular. Uh, you two are the only ones who've said that to me. I can't shake the feeling that I just became a a shell to a shrew. Do you have a problem, Phoenix Wright? Sure, she was brave to testify so truthfully like that. But I know she's still hiding something. Because it's time to break that sight clock of hers. Huh. I wasn't sure I'd be able to do it yet, but uh, okay, we will break it. If it says I can, let's go for it. Elise Donim. Sister Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise Donim has a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has to do with her true identity. What are you talking about? She, she was... Mr. Achilles was an author, just an author of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. So suspicions? <coughs> yes, but I don't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Miss Donim's true identity. Donim had this charm with her at all times. Ah, where did you... This isn't some cheap good luck charm either. <coughs> but then, what do you think it is, Mr. Wright? Well, what could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. Oops. This thing speaks volumes about who Miss Donim really was. This talisman and one other item unequivocally prove Miss Donim's true identity. <coughs> the painting is obscured by this gravy stain at the moment. This scroll shows the master of the current channeling technique. The crest at the top is a sign of that honorable title. <coughs> the very same crest that adorns the talisman the victim carried with her. Duh! This crest is reserved for the master of Kirai. Who on earth told you that nonsense? I I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master, Maya Fei, told me. Wha what? What? <coughs> you mean that acolyte is Misty Fei's 
Daughter, yes. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her first daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Fay's sole successor. Mystic Maya! Oh no! What have I done? That was actually pretty easy. I did have enough to do it. Yay! My Grace was with her presence about a week ago. When she told me the talisman was the mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. Oh, Mystic Misty, I guess is who we're talking about. <laughs> and when I'd seen her in 17 years, that's when she disappeared. What's the significance of this talisman system? The crying talisman. It's the symbol of the Master of Kruin. The Baron must carry it with them always until they're deaf. Until they're deaf? <coughs> <coughs> so Lee Stoneen wasn't really... Was, it was really Maya's mother, huh? She was Misty Fay, the Master of the Kruin Channeling Technique. The truth comes out at last. It looks like we're making some headway here, finally. Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did you choose to show us off now? Because something happened that called her out of hiding. <coughs> what happened? Well... What's happening? It, it can't be. Uh, earthquake! Ah! Oh my goodness, the inner temple. This. this kind of tremor might. The inner temple? The sacred coven in the training hall. It, it might very well cave in! But what? Maya! seems to have passed. Well, we can't just stand here and do nothing. Let's go. What? Where? To the inner temple, of course. Where else? <coughs> Excuse me. Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, alright? Of course. Y you run along now. People may have been hurt. I must get some first aid kits ready. Come on, Zen Phoenix, right? They won't bar you from entrance as long as I'm with you. So, thank you. Right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. We just had an earthquake. I wonder if he's alright. I mean, Miles is terrified of earthquakes. You look worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Come on, let's go. And all the way back to the t inner temple. Yay! Oops. We've got to hurry to the inner temple and... Right. Ah! Well <coughs> What are you doing here? Ugh. How could I have... How do you expect us to understand if you don't speak up? Yo! Ow! Ow! Hey, why am I the one getting whipped? She... She's gone. No! The defendant, Iris. She's gone. Gone where? She fled. She escaped. What? So, it was just now during the... 
it's easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness. His fear of earthquakes. I should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes and I stupidly passed out. <clears throat> that incident haunts you to this day, doesn't it? That's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let it happen. Right, the inner temple area is a dead end, so she only could have escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. And we need to get a manhunt underway now, and search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Wait, Edgeworth, have you fearily checked the inner temple yet? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. Why would I? The inner temple is like an island. There's no way to escape but to cross. No, that's not it. Pirates isn't the type to... type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the sacred cavern might have caved in because of the quake. So you think she must have gone to the inner temple to check on the, uh, on the situation? Listen. Listen, Edgeworth. I'm sure she's at the inner temple. Mana is not necessary. Right. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the training hall sacred cavern now. Alright, let's go. <coughs> Just walks me over there. Saves me some time. February 9th, Inner Temple Training Hall. Fortunately, the sacred cavern didn't cave in, but what we found was something none of us would ever expect. Five more cyclops on the door. Well, four more on the door. Make a total of five. Uh, how can there be even more locks. What is the meaning of this? Iris? Iris, please tell me. What the hell is going on? To be continued. We'll figure out what's going on next time. Quite the mystery we have here, but we're heading through it. Slowly but surely, we will get through this. Uh, next time, we will um, continue investigating. I'm your host, Kaylee Watari. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll see you for more investigation next time.